Hey there everyone, Chris Mack here and Happy New Year. This is my 2023 EDC loadout that I carry on me every day. Uh, some things have definitely changed. I used to be more of the tactical kind of guy, uh, carrying uh, Glock, spare mags and stuff like that. And living in Wyoming, I'm starting to embrace where I live a little bit more. And as you can see, I'm more of a country boy, cowboy kind of vibe than anything else at this point. So definitely a lot of changes since last time. Let's go ahead and get started with my watch. I do like good old fashioned Timex. The problem with those, at least the one I have, is that the crown sticks out. It doesn't have molding out around, so it's easy to pop open and I catch it on my sleeves a lot. So probably the only tactical thing I still have left is this 511 watch, which I really do like. It's, it's really a sturdy watch. Uh, next is my Carhartt vest. If you don't like Carhartt, so be it. Um, and in this pocket, I keep a Victorinox. This is the Super Tinker model. And then in my pockets, I keep a set of Carhartt gloves, uh, more so to keep warm. Real work gloves are in the truck. They're the good, hard, sturdy leather ones. These are more for keeping warm and light tasks and stuff like that with the Wyoming wind. All right, we'll go ahead and lose this. And then next, let's go ahead with uh, pockets. My bottom, le uh, my leg left pocket is my flashlight. This is the Surefire Stiletto. Really like this light, although I did go through several. So if I'm not carrying this one, it is the um, Streamlight Macro Stream. I'll have a link to my whole review video for all the lights that I went through. I went through several, but uh, this is the one I kind of landed on. This one and then the Macro Stream. I bounce back and forth between the two. Then in my leg right pocket, I have my tourniquet and I'll have a link down below for this along with a video of how I folded this with the paracord here so that way you can draw it with either your right or left hand, get this thing open really nice and easily and uh, actually use it rather than it being folded in a way that takes both hands to open it because if you're using it 50-50 shot that you're going to be doing with one less arm. Then. In my back left pocket is my cell phone that I'm currently recording with. Back right pocket is a run-of-the-mill handkerchief. Walmart dollar store, when I was a kid, this used to be uh, five for a dollar kind of a thing, but I have no idea anymore. But classic handkerchief. Then in my front left pocket, I have my ARC wallet. Uh, I was pretty disappointed to see that they stopped making this one particularly and I'm very happy that I was able to get one so thank you again to the in-laws for this as Christmas or birthday present a couple of years ago. But really like this wallet. It uh, has where you can keep your cards on this side and then it's got a notebook on this side and on the outside it, uh, you can put a Fisher Space Pen bullet in this. Really been enjoying this and uh, I hope I don't wear it out then I guess since <laughs> they're not making it anymore. In my front right pocket, this is a little uh, first aid kit I put together. Uh, this pouch is done by Hide and Drink. And there's a CPR mask in here, a set of um, uh, medical gloves. My Victorinox Classic SD has moved into here. And then also there's a few band-aids and a few run-of-the-mill pills like Tylenol and stuff like that in here. Also in that pocket, I have my Leatherman P2. I think the P4 is just a little bit too thick, so I really do like the P2. Everything on here is a one-handed open. The only thing for me that's been kind of uh, troublesome is that I've always carried tip down. So every time I pull this, being that it's a tip up, I kind of have to rotate it a couple of times until I remember, oh yeah, it's tip up carry, and it takes me a bit to figure that out. But it's, it's a good knife, and I really like it. And then in my fifth pocket, watch pocket, whatever you want to call it, still uh, rocking my Zippo. And then everything else is on my belt. I, I still am using the uh, next belt. This is a Warrior Poet Society branded one. And then I have here is my Buck 110 Auto Elite. I was carrying just the standard Buck 110 for a long time, but then I broke my finger a couple of weeks ago and decided it was time to get something a little bit manageable for one hand. So the Auto Elite it is. Then underneath that as well is my Maxpedition Keykeeper with the key to my truck. And then, oh, uh, on this side, kind of alluding into my new firearm, this is a Galco uh, Spare Ammo uh, Cache. Really like that. And then my new firearm. 
This is a Smith & Wesson Ladysmith in 357, and I'm carrying it with 357 in it. And you might be wondering why I'm carrying a revolver now, because it's not the popular tactical thing. And mainly, to be perfectly honest, it's not a cowboy sense, it's the caliber. My uses, and for what I'm doing and going forward, I prefer 357. So there you go. Alright everyone, thank you so very much for watching. Again, Happy New Year, and as always, it's Chris Mack.